Okay, the purpose of this tutorial is to run through some very basic um, switch configuration commands and do some basic um, switch maintenance and uh, network maintenance using a switch for the Cisco CCNA. And I got this little network working right here. And so now I'm going to recreate it on this network and you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to recreate everything that happened over here, over here. So first of all, this server right here, server uh, PT server 0, I'm going to call it serve2 or server2 and, and I'm going to put the IP address for it right here, 192.168.1 dot two five four okay and so and if we look inside this server at its configuration we can see that fast ethernet it has a static IP address 192.168.1.254 okay and a 24-bit subnet mask all right and then for DHCP it's on and we're going to adjust the server pool here and make sure that that's working nicely. Well, and we already have a little bit. Let's take a look here. We've got 192.168.1.100 here as the starting IP address. The uh, maximum number of users, let's switch that to 50. Okay. And save. Right. And that looks good. And it's called server pool. Right. So it's going to hand out addresses starting at 100 and we'll hand out 50 addresses. So 192.168.1.100. All right, that sounds good. So there it is. And we're going to find out also what port is it connected to. It's connected to fast Ethernet um, port 24. All right, on the switch. And then these guys here are connected to ports 1, 2, and 3. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on each one of these guys and configuration. I'm going to say Okay, fast Ethernet and DHCP. So we'll have these guys do DHCP. All right, yep, fast Ethernet, DHCP, and over here, um, config, fast Ethernet, DHCP. All right, and so then each one of these guys should be picking up an IP address. This guy's 102, this guy's 101. And this guy's picked up um, IP address 100. So if I wanted to label these guys, I would call them, I'll say, he's 100, he's 101, and this guy's 102, which I mean 192.168.1.100. 192.168.1.101 and 192.168.1.102. Okay, and the other thing we need to do is we'll see, obviously, since they picked up the IP address automatically, they must be able to talk to the server, otherwise, they wouldn't be able to do that. All right, and now we're going to run, we'll start running through some of the um, simple commands on the switch. So I'll click here to get the switch going. Hit return to get started. Enable command here to go into privileged exec mode. Configure terminal to get into global config mode. And now I can change the host name of my switch. Host name. And I'll change the host name to switch2 since this is the second network I'm working on. Okay, one of the first things they recommend that you do on the switch, I'm in global config mode once again here, is to change the management VLAN from the default, default VLAN of uh, one to a different VLAN. If you can see, if I hover over the switch, you can see that all of the ports, ports one through 24, are all on VLAN one. Um, at least I hope you can see that. You can see the ones, one, 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 one. So they're all on, on VLAN one. But we're going to set up a management, we're going to change the management VLAN to a different um, port. So once again, I'm going to do this. I'm in global config mode here. I'm going to say 
interface VLAN 99. And that's going to change the management VLAN to 99. And then I'm going to give the switch an IP address. So um, by, by the switch having an IP address, then we would be able to remote into the switch to manage the switch. We'd be able to, from another computer, computer uh, Telnet or Secure Shell into the um, switch and manage the switch. So I'm going to give it an IP address now. So IP space address. And I'm going to say 192.168. And I'm going to say, instead of the dot one network, I'm going to change it to the dot 99 network. All right, dot 99 network. And that's just going to be a convention to go with VLAN 99. So I know that, OK, the VLAN 99 is on the 192.168.99 network. And I'll give the switch the address um, dot 254, the next to last address, not the broadcast address 255, but the 254, which is the last usable address. And I've got to give it a subnet mask. Okay, so there's the, um, the IP address. And now at the end, no shutdown. Okay, so now. I've done. I've uh, changed the management VLAN to 99, and I've given it an IP address. All right. And now I've got to figure out which um, interface I'm going to put that on for the switch. So I'll say um, interface. I'm going to switch interfaces here from this virtual VLAN interface to interface FA fast Ethernet. Let's say 0 slash 23, right? So I switch to uh, interface 23, and I'm going to configure the interface of the switch. So switch port mode access, and now I'll change the port to be on VLAN 99. So switch port access VLAN 99. All right, and you can see here that interface VLAN 99 changed state to up, so the port went up. And if we if we want now, I'll hit exit and exit. And I'm back into privileged exec mode here. But you can see if I if I minimize this and I hover over the switch here, you'll see that port 23 is now, there's a 99 next to it, meaning it's on VLAN 99. So all my ports are on VLAN 1, except for port 23, which is now on VLAN 99. Okay, so now I'm going to say, okay, I've got a management port, but I have nothing to connect to my management port. I have no, no uh, computers connected to port 23. Uh, this server is connected to port 24, and these PCs are connected to ports one, two, and three. So I'm gonna grab a server. So I'm gonna click on end devices here, and there's the server, and I'll drag out another server here, drop it right here, and then I'll click to connections, and I'll get a straight through cable, and I'll connect it to this server, fast ethernet, and to the switch, and I'm gonna connect it to port 23. All right, so now I have a device connected to port 23. And now I need to configure the device. 